Welcome to Lakeshore. I'll be showing you through your torque today. On the very front, on the tongue jack, you're going to have light, extend, retract here. Two 30 pound LP tanks, both full. Regulators will be here. Um, when you want to use this tank over on the left, you're going to make sure it's pointed to the left. Switch it, just turn it over. Green is good, red is no propane. 12 volt battery on the back side. You have the LEDs on the front cap. Those are controlled by this panel inside. Coming around on the driver's side, the first thing you see is VIN, model, tire pressure, everything you need to know about your camper is going to be here. Right to the right is going to be your generator inside that inside this little cabinet. Make sure both of your breakers are on. You're to push and hold prime for three seconds, push and hold start for three seconds. Repeat process if it don't start. Um, if you run out of fuel, you have to prime it longer. Solar panel plug-in. You have a sewer hose holder, as well as sewer hose connection right underneath the slide out. Water heater, city water port. This is where you're gonna put your hose if you just use the water off the hose. Little spray port. Coming to the back side, you're gonna have satellite and cable input, a 50 amp hookup. Fuel, fuel is gonna be used for your generator um, as well as your auxiliary. So when you're filling up your auxiliary toys, just remember that's the same fuel you use for your generator. Drop down door. The white lights on the outside are controlled from the inside panel that are above this door here, and that door. So you, you'll see these little switches on both sides, on the rear and the front, on the passenger side. These are going to be your stabilizers bars. These are going to control both stabilizers in the rear. Um, also, as the front one will control both fronts. The, get your spare tire down, you'll have a rod that will go through this hole, and you'll crank it down. Here is where you fill the fresh tank on your unit. You just put a water hose in here. Make sure your your water hose, blue hose under there is your fresh tank. Close that valve. Your condensation line for the refrigerator. Get uh, exhaust gets extremely hot when you start to furnace. Be careful. Make sure nothing's leaning up against it. Um, you got a TV bracket location as well as uh, output for cable. Black tank flush. Remember, don't use this unless you're connected to the ground and your valves are open. If your valves are closed and you got a full tank, you're going to have a big mess inside the bathroom. Front control here is going to be for the front stabilizers. In the front the passenger side is a compartment. You have a light right here. Those two bars back there, one's going to be for overriding the slides, one's going to be to using it for getting your spare tire down. Sewer hose. 30, 50 to 30 amp adapter, 30 to a 15 amp adapter. Also, battery cutoff is right here too. Let's go ahead and go inside your unit. Here in the master bedroom, you got two individual lights as well as an LED if you want the LEDs on. You can also control your inner, your generator from inside in here to do the same process as you would in the front. This light switch to control the main light in your bedroom. Bathroom is pretty self explanatory. You got a GFI breaker right there on the wall. Fan controls. Kitchen. When you're bringing your slide in on the kitchen, make sure your bedroom door is closed and the couch is up. Either one of those, even your cabinet doors, if they are not closed, it's going to be too late by the time you hear them crouch. Your microwave is going to be the best indicator if you have at least 30 amps. It will be lit up and working. If you don't, recheck your connection. Um, so you're just going to go to the flame and then the dial and use your igniter on the left. That's also going to do the oven. Here's a little LED light. Down is going to show you the oven light. Keys are around your sink. You got a carbon monoxide alarm, your refrigerator, if you want it on auto just push the on button make sure the lights on this side that's going to go from 
As soon as you disconnect short power, it's going to use propane. Radio, you got zone ones and zone two. Zone two is going to be outside. Zone one is going to be inside. Um, you got both on, one on, one off. It doesn't matter. Um, here you're going to have bed lift control. Bed lift control. Um, the only way to bring down that bed is to make sure your couch is up, and then pull these four. There's one one of these pins on each corner. You're going to pull that, but make sure the couch is up because if you pull that, it's going to free fall and hit you in the head. So the couch has got to guide it down. The couch is the only thing on the chains. Um, that bed w will free fall. So just be careful. Um, there's your tables as well as carpet. And you do have the table legs wrapped up in the carpet. Power cord, fire extinguishers, manuals are all in this box. I hope you enjoy your camper. Thank you for choosing Lakeshore.